Hey everybody, Captain Blunder here, and welcome back to Plunder! Oh, Blunder! We're, we're gonna finish off the Beskar Mando Legendary event. Very excited. Let's hop into it. We'll go over mods and everything as these new rounds come up. If you have any questions about the prior mods, go back to part one. But I'm gonna tell you, you don't need much. This event is pretty easy, and I probably overgeared everybody in this, so let's go in. We're up to tier four. What are we doing? We've got Cara Dune and the Mandalorian recommended level 60 plus, gear level recommendation 8 plus, ability levels 5, and mods at mark 5 plus. Okay. Danger! I read that as Dengar. I was like, Dengar's here? What? Danger continues to nip at Mando's heels as he and Cara Dune fend off the attack of the Sorgan village from a group of cutthroat Klatu... Klatuin... Klatuin... Ian. Tattooing and we're done. Raiders. <laughs> uh, the enemy will utilize powerful attacks after spotting your units. If any allied character is defeated, it will end the battle at a loss. Okay. Note, the Mandalorian will have his name and appearance altered for this battle. Uh, in his special for okay, his special ability wonder wonder of the force will be maxed out on this tier and will not start on cooldown. Okay, cool. Cara Dune will have her ability altered for this battle. We'll have her- oh, her basic ability altered for this battle. There we go. These characters are not obtained and cannot be used in any of the game modes. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. So, Beskar Mando, we went over last time. Obviously, nothing's changed in the- in the last however long it's been. It's been minutes for me. There, it might be- it might be like two hours, but... Cara Dune, what are we running with on her? Well, all health mods, for whatever reason, it's just what I decided to go with. I- it, but getting her plus 95 speed, so she's running at 234, so that's a lot of extra speed on her. A lot of extra speed. She's got tons of extra protection and tons of health. That's why I wanted health mods. I figured she was going to be the tank for this event and wanted her to be able to soak up as much damage as she could. So, plus 30 speed on the arrow uh, with some offense and protection and health in there, so that's pretty good. Uh, a health primary on the triangle with plus 10 speed on the cross we've got protection with plus 16 speed going going quick another protection with plus 14 speed here on the diamond defense another plus 16 speed man i really lucked out with these mods and on the offense plus nine speed with extra offense extra health and extra protection so we should be good and it said that her basic was changed so let's see uh, deal physical damage to a target enemy. If there is a scoundrel ally in the leader slot, Cara Dune gains stealth until the end of her next turn. If there's a rebel ally in the leader slot, okay, so nothing, nothing appears to have changed. It'll probably change once we gun, so let's go. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and start. Cara Dune gains potency up and then deals physical damage to all enemies, remove 50% of their turn meter. Empire allies are stunned for one turn. Okay, we want to get rid of their turn meter. And let's go ahead and prepare the whistling burbs and see if we can knock out one of them. Nope, we cannot. All right, here we go, burbs. I'm, not, I'm not gonna get tired of that anytime soon. I'm just not. All right, go ahead, AOE one more time. Took them all out. All right, here we go. Ooh, gonna fight the ATST. Really, really evil looking ATST. Okay. So we don't want it. ATSD can't be defeated. And victory is achieved upon reaching 1% health. Okay, so the question is, do we need to attack it? Or oh my god, the shooting misses and stuff at me. Or do we attack the ads first? Let's go for the ads. Let's start with the ads. And that was just the basic. Alright, and let's go ahead. AoE. Remove some turn meter. Let's get rid of get rid of this guy. Alright, let's see what kind of damage the ATSD does. Ooh, what did it give her? Okay, spotted. All enemies will target this unit, receive 50% more damage. Okay, so I'm glad that we took out the ads first. And let's see if we can remove some turn meter. It did, does not look like we did. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. Come on. Oh, they're going for care. Oh, she fine. She totally fine. Let's see if we can remove turn meter. No turn meter removal on this. Okay, let's go ahead. Try this out. There we go. All right. Oh, we don't even have to worry. This thing is just going to go down. Oh, 
Oh, that's awesome. CG is really stepping up their game with this with this legendary event. This is awesome. The, the cinematics are fantastic. They look great. I, I have nothing to complain about. This is just fun. Don't you don't have to drop any Zetas, I don't think. At this point, I really don't think we need any Zetas. Ooh, except this is going to be the only thing. I was warned you may need to drop a Zeta on Queel. But I'm prepared to do so, so let's go in and see what happens. What do we need? Level 75, gear 9 plus. Okay, he's at gear 10. And as the threat of the Imperial of the M Imperial power continues to escalate on Navarro, Quill attempts to fend off Imperial troopers and protect his charge. Okay. Strategy tips. Devoted protector is granted is a granted ability given to Quill during this battle. Prioritize potency for your Quill to inflict more debuffs. Inflicting debuffs lowers the cooldown of Devoted Protector. Okay, so let's check it out. I'm pretty sure. What did I do with his odds? I did. I gave him speed and potency mods. So he is currently running at 232 speed, so plus 88 speed. Not a ton of extra speed, but it's a good amount. It's a solid amount. I think it's gonna work. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see. So plus 30 speed on the arrow. Defense here on the triangle with plus 9 speed. On the cross, we've got health primary with plus 11 speed. On the circle, plus uh, protection primary with plus 4 speed. Uh, 11 speed with the diamond defense mod. And finally, on the offense mod, another plus 9 speed. So, he's got decent extra speed. Let's go in. Let's see, he's sitting in gear 10 with nothing added. So, base gear, gear 10, and I have not put the Zeta on Frontier Wisdom. So, let's go in and let's just see if we're able to do it without the Zeta. If we fail, I'm dropping the Zeta because I want to drop it on Quill anyway. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait, what is your buff? What do you do? This character cannot be defeated. Okay. Very interesting. So, let's go ahead and see if we can do a stun. There we go. We got a stun. Now, Frontier Wisdom. All allies recover health equal to 20% of Quill's max protection, uh, max health and protection equal to... Am I reading this weird? All allies recover health equal to 20% of Quill's max health and protection equal to 20% of Quill's max protection. What? Scoundrel allies gain 25% turn meter. Scoundrel and light side droid have a gain ability mechanic savvy for two turns, which can't be copied. Okay. Alright, I don't think we need to heal up yet. And let's try and stun him again. Hey, this is uh this isn't going too bad. They can't be defeated, so, so I wonder if I'm supposed to just lose. Because we all know what happens to Quill anyway. If you didn't, you're gonna find out. I'm just gonna keep stunning this guy. Just, just burn, burn this one. All right, let's see if we can stun this guy now. <laughs> We're just gonna move back and forth. Stun. Oh no, he didn't stun. I don't need to heal yet, so I think I'm, I think I'm doing fine. All right, now we might need to start to heal up soon. Let's do it. Let's heal up. Get in the mechanic savvy. Stun this scout trooper. All right, here we go. Now we get Devoted Protector. When Quill inflicts a debuff, this ability's cooldown is reduced by one. Make a Quill makes a stand to protect the child at any cost. So this is it. So you don't need to drop the Zeta. Having some solid mods, so he's going quick, getting some stuns, getting the cooldowns going. I think that's all you need. Let's finish. Oh, he just disappeared into the force. <laughs> Good for Quill for figuring that out. <laughs> that's it. Okay, that one wasn't bad at all. Don't even... If you got the right mods... You don't need to worry about it. So cool, here it is, the final tier, tier six. Let's do it, let's go. All of the characters, Cara Dune, IG-11, Grief Karga, the Mandalorian C note below, okay. So gear, uh, level 85, gear level 10 plus, we're sitting at base 10, except for Mando, who's sitting at 11 plus two. Ability mods, okay, uh, gear rarity, mark five plus. Mandalorian makes his stand alongside his allies as Moff Gideon and his Imperial forces close for the kill. Try to have a taunt active during Moff Gideon's turn, because presumably we don't want Darksaber getting on to somebody that is going to not be able to eat all the damage. Moff Gideon will summon Stormtroopers at the end of his turn. Okay. Okay. Your victory is achieved when Moff Gideon reaches 1% health. If the Mandalorian is defeated, it will end the battle as a loss. Okay. The Mandalorian will have his name and appearance. Okay, so we're going to get the same... 
excuse me, the same Wonder of the Force is going to be maxed out. Grief Karga will have both of his special abilities altered for this battle. This character is not obtained. We know all that, okay? All right. So this is it. We did, I wish we could use Quill, but he, he dead. He's part of the Force now. We're going to do it. Here we go. All right, so they're already taunting up. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of their turn meter. Don't want Grief Karga to take a turn. And now we are going to dispel all debuffs, uh, then call all other scoundrel allies to assist. And their payouts change. Okay, I can't, I, I, I have not really used Grief Karga yet. So I'm reading, I'm reading, which is something y'all know I don't do. All scoundrel allies gain retribution for two turns and recover 20%, 25% health and protection, doubled if they have a payout active. Okay, we're gonna do this because I want the retribution. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do function protect. Yeah, tenacity down, everything like that. Let's get let's get their tenacity down so we can hopefully start to uh, get more turn meter reduction using Kara Doom. All right, get the whistling birds ready. Basic. No, oh, no, it's a flame trooper. All right, now here we go. Dispel all debuffs on target enemy. Okay, so then, but they're not gonna. That was a bad move right there. Okay. Target ally recovers health, so we're going to give some health back to Grief Karga. Here we go, whistling burbs. These stormtroopers are just a pain. All right, let's equalize everybody. Or not everybody. There we go. Okay. Now, do we have bounty hunter resolve? Yes. We, oh no, damage immunity. Okay, so they can't be hurt. And I probably should have put that on Kara Dune since she is the tank for this round. Come on, we just we need to get all of these taunts off so we can attack Grief. Good grief. Here we go. Let's remove some turn meter. There we go. All right. All right. Let's heal up. Come on. Take him down. Whistling birds. Okay. All right. All right. We're looking better. Looking better. Basic. Get that retribution. Come on. We just need to knock out the stormtrooper real quick. Oh, they just keep coming up. Oh my goodness! Okay, this is... Sun tells me we're gonna need a lot more of these whistling burbs going. Spell all debuffs on all scoundrel allies and equalize their protection. All scoundrel allies recover 20% recover protection. Remove 20% turn meter from all enemies. Yeah, we want to be doing this as much as possible. Okay. Get this stormtrooper out of here. Come on. Big hits. Big AoE hits. Come on, remove more turn meter. Ah, my Gideon. How? Okay, so he can only. Okay, so he can only summon two more. So we might, we really, I think we just need to keep defeating stormtroopers. Not, I think this is all we need to do. Keep defeating stormtroopers until we make it through. All right, all right. Here we go. It's looking better. Looking better. Okay, so he's gonna summon. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and heal up. Get some more whistling burbs. AoE. Remove some of their turn meter. Big AoE from IG11. All right, all right. Okay. Come on, we just we just gotta we gotta pick off these these stormtroopers. There we go. There we go. Some maxed out whistling burbs. All right, remove turn meter. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Huzzah! There it there we, okay, I'm really excited. 
uh, if not even for, for just having Best Commando, that event was super fun. That was incredibly, incredibly fun. Uh, we get to go through just pretty much season one of, season one highlights of The Mandalorian. The requirements are not bad. It took, it took me a while to farm these characters, but their farming nodes are pretty solid, not gonna lie, except for IG-11 and... Yeah, just IG-11 didn't really have anything beneficial on it other than his own shards. Grief Karga comes... Doesn't matter. But that was awesome. Let's take a look at him real quick. Activate. Let's go ahead. Activate this sucker. Here he comes. Woo! Woo! So excited. Look at him. Just sitting there spinning. But yeah, no, so this event was good. All of their nodes are good. Except for IG-11. Isn't the greatest, but did get a decent amount of farming. Is What was happening with Baby Yoda? He was like phasing in and out right there. But this is awesome. I'm very excited. Uh, gonna, gonna go ahead and just start working on this guy. Getting him prepared for the Razor Crest. But as you saw, at the recommended Gear 10. This event's super easy. Didn't lose a single battle. Read this time to make sure I was doing everything correctly. So you might even be able to undergear this a little bit. Somewhere around Gear 9, you may need to drop a Zeta. I'm not entirely sure on that. I haven't looked up anything. Haven't seen what anybody has been doing to to get through this event with minimum requirements. But I'm just going to go ahead and tell you at gear 10, super easy, not a problem whatsoever. Here I am just upgrading him. Not even going to look at the gear because I want to get him to 10 as quick as possible. There, we was so close. All right. So we're going to end it here. Uh, going to test him out a little bit. Going to try some things with him. So have fun. So don't forget, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all the things. And we'll come back with some more fun content coming out. So until next time, everybody, cheers.